my friends, welcome to another little Lissa video. Uh, today I just wanted to do a really quick video about taking control back when it comes to your eating habits and what you're eating. Now whether you're a full fruitarian, eating all fruit, uh, raw vegan, cooked vegan, high carb cooked vegan, um, or even if you're just coming from a standard American diet where you want to start cleaning things up and eating more healthy foods, making better choices, cutting out the junk and the sugar and the processed stuff, um, it doesn't really matter where you're coming from. Um, this video is about taking control and the power back into yourself when it comes to what you're eating. Now a lot of us, most of us, like to be in control and we like to decide what's best for us. And we feel, at least I have felt, that food took over and food was deciding for me what I should eat. And this is uh, just a little simple trick that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, it's about saying I want to or I can't. When you say, when you say we're looking at Oreo, Oreo cookies. Oreo cookies are a great example because they're vegan. Um, so a lot of vegans will eat Oreos or whatever, some chips and stuff like that. We'll use those as examples. You're looking at these Oreos or potato chips and you say, I can't have it. Um, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't. When you say you can't, the food has control over your decisions. You feel um, deprived or disappointed that you can't have it or you know like you, you just have all these emotions that rise up when you say you can't have it I'm sorry I, I can't um, I want you guys to switch over and instead of saying you can't have something say that you don't want it say that you feel better not having it so if someone presents to you or you you know you're in the grocery store and you're a little craving and you look at the, that bag of Oreo cookies you say I don't want this that immediately puts the control back into your life and you're in control. The food isn't in control anymore, you are. So you say, I, I, I don't want it, I just don't want it. And that will really help with the control thing and not feeling guilty about the fact that you can't have it. And really, in all honesty, it's not that we can't have those foods, because you can eat anything you want. Uh, it's gonna make you feel crappy, uh, and like I said, whether you're a full fruitarian or you're just a standard American diet eater, uh, it doesn't really matter because even full fruitarians have foods that maybe irritate them and that they shouldn't eat, but they still do. So it doesn't really matter where you're coming from. You need to put the control back into yourself and instead of being in the foods court. I am just a plain raw vegan. Um, I do still do things like garlic and spices and stuff like that. Um, they don't bother me. If they bother you, then just say that you don't want it because you it's not that you can't have it. It's that you don't want it. You want to feel your best. You want to be your best and you want to make the best choices that you possibly can. So I hope this video helps change your mindset. Um, you can practice. You can go to the grocery store and start looking at stuff that you don't want <laughs> and just say, I don't want that. I really, I, I really don't want that because I want what's best for myself and that's not it. So it's not that you can't have it, it's that you don't want it. So if you guys like this video, please click like and click subscribe and you can get notifications for more videos from me. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouFood, all at Raw Food Romance. And I'm gonna go write my next book, which is going to be a diary journal style of my entire first year as a raw vegan. And I'm probably going to include a little bit of time after because it's been over 18 months, uh, over 600 days that I have been a raw vegan. No cheating, no nothing, and I feel amazing. I've lost all the weight. Uh, and if anyone's looking for the questions, I'm 5'6", right now I weigh 117, and I lost 70, 70 to 75 pounds over the course of 14 months. So. I lost it really slow so that my skin could catch up and I love this lifestyle. I feel so much better in myself and I feel way more hydrated and healthy and my joints don't hurt, my sleeping is better. So it's all such a great thing. And I hope you guys can include more raw foods into your diet. Again, I have a 30 day meal plan. So if you're stumped for recipes, there's 90 in that meal plan. The link is in the description below. You can go grab that if you want, but I'm gonna go write that book. And until the next video, guys, I hope you have a lovely day. It's super sunny here and I hope it's where you are too. So I'll see you later and fruit on.